Hello students. Today we want to discuss how to write a report in O level exam. First of all, we'll define a report. A report is a concise formal document written for a particular purpose and audience. This means that you give an account of a particular event, issue or topic. It means uh, you are writing a comprehensive and specific report to your seniors. In business communication, there is a top to bottom and bottom to top upward or downward communication process are going on. So uh, juniors report to the seniors. So this is a formal document in some business companies. They write weekly reports, then they write monthly reports, and then they write annual reports. An account is given of a particular matter, especially in the form of an official document, after through investigation or consideration by an appointed person or body. Nowadays, you listen that when a high-profile crime is committed, uh, Prime Minister or Chief Minister orders a uh, high police official to give a report. So they submit a report about any crime or incident. And journalists, they also write different reports. Why are we in need of uh, writing reports? The purpose of education is to prepare students for upcoming challenges in daily life as well as in professional life and uh, business progress is reported through a formal document that is called report when we start want to start a business there is a feasibility report that uh, where can this business be started for example one person wants to start a mineral water business first of all the person will invest a small amount of money to ask different professionals to prepare a feasibility report that where should I start my business. To describe an event or accident, suppose there is a, a bomb blast, so that is an accident or an event, so its complete report is forwarded to the uh, high officials. Or if there is a problem, and uh, we want to solve that problem, we also present it in a report. Basically, a research paper is also reporting a problem and its solution. Qualities of a good report. There should be specifications. Exact facts and figures should be mentioned. Analysis of relevant information. Structuring material in a logical and coherent order that one uh, event or one uh, fact and figure should lead to another one and it must be logical. Presentation in a consistent manner according to the instructions. Some business organizations have their particular templates as you can see different templates uh, in these slides. So the employees have to report according to those templates. Making appropriate conclusion so after reading the entire report, there must be some conclusion. If it's a report about some crime, particular persons should be pinpointed that they are the real culprits. So if there is a feasibility report, uh, there must be the required budget, uh, the place where that business can be started, or uh, relevant information should be provided. Parts of a report, uh, students should memorize this slide. This is very, very important. They write to the subject, introduction, one paragraph, small paragraph for introduction. Then next paragraph, first point of the O-level question paper, second point of that O-level question paper, third point of the O-level question paper. You must address these three points. Conclusion, sum up and recommendation or demand an action. Sometimes a report demands an action 
from uh, higher high officials sometimes uh, they ask that they should register an fir against these people because they are the real uh, culprits so according to the different uh, situations different actions are recommended then full name signature and date as you are familiar with different jit reports and uh, they also present their reports in on this format o level exam requirements section 1 is for directed writing it requires 200 or 300 words and 15 marks for following the three task instructions as i have mentioned here that these are the three points 15 marks are allocated to those who fulfill uh, these points who write or address these points 15 marks for the language you use language means uh, correct spellings correct sentence sentence structure variety of vocabulary and uh, logic coherence cohesion and uh, transitional words so uh, different uh, uh, and appropriate use of idioms uh, we just take uh, one example many new students uh, this is a task one many new students join your school every year your principal wants to make starting at the school as easy as possible for the new students and she asks you to write a report for her about how to do this write your report you must include the following some of the difficulties that you and other students had when you joined the school number 2 suggestions about what the school can do to help new students number 3 how the students and the school will benefit these three points must be included separately in three separate distinct paragraphs cover all three points in detail you should make your report polite and informative start your report to the principal remember to give a name and a date so all instructions have been given these three points have been given solution to the principal next line subject problems encountered by the new students in school this report is going to discuss the problems faced by the new students we will also explore a few solutions to these problems to make starting at school easier for new students so this is an introduction now first point it is very delightful to hear that many students are willing to join our school this year however the students are likely to face some problems during their initial days in school the sudden change in the environment is what makes the candidates uncomfortable map of school facilities was missing they do not feel a part of the institute moreover moreover approaching teachers and students is even more difficult second point to help new students we can conduct an assembly on the first day of school to introduce the teachers and students furthermore a warm hearted welcome will give them a friendly atmosphere which is likely to make them comfortable a third point is simultaneously all of this will bring some benefit to the students and the school provision of school map facilities facilitates the candidates to adjust to new surroundings easily the students will feel like a part of the institute and therefore they will be able to concentrate on their studies thus producing good grades uh, due to all this the reputation of the school is likely to enhance and the biggest achievement of a school is the satisfaction of its students consequently other students will also get admission in this school now conclusion overall i hope that my recommendations will be taken into suggestion and taken into suggestions and they will make starting at school easier if you have any questions related to my suggestions it will be my pleasure to assess you yours faithfully your name and then you will mention the date so this is the solution of that uh, question and uh, one another i share an another previous exam question 
MD school Nashik recently organized a science symposium on the topic effect of pollution on quality of life you are amit editor of the school magazine write a report on the event for your school magazine okay i just want to mention another point that sometimes uh, uh, bcom students also write report for a magazine or a newspaper there are minor differences in magazine it calls it is called heading and in newspaper it is called headline byline uh, is same opening paragraphs in magazine report then account of the event then conclusion in newspaper a uh, date and place then opening paragraph then account of the event and witness remarks they are very important you must have read uh, different reports that they mention that one eye witness informed about that accident and then conclusion so newspaper and magazine report they have some differences and uh, this is also an essential question in bcom uh, english paper uh, some tips that read reports on different topics uh, be a regular reader of newspaper read and memorize a few statistics census data demographics of uh, population uh, so that you can quote them easily the number of male and female in pakistan and uh, statistics of uh, working women housewife or uh, if there is an issue of uh, divorce uh, or there is issue of uh, violence against women so you must uh, know some demographics and uh, facts and figures read economic service regularly they also help you and guide you how to write business reports if you have any question or you need training tutoring or translation facilities or editing we are here to help you thank you so much feel free to ask any question i'll answer all your queries thank you